The current state pension comes to £203.85 a week, so £10,600 a year. And coming from the taxpayer at a cost of about £90 billion a year, it's one of the biggest single expenses every year. With 12.5 million pensioners, it affects a lot of people. The reason why I'm making this video is because the current system is a Ponzi scheme. Your pension contributions don't go into a big pot which are redistributed to pensioners. It's just a pre-tax tax on all citizens of the UK. To make this clear, if you want to go out and recreate the system in the private sector, you will be arrested. You'll have the book thrown at you, and you'll spend the rest of your lives behind bars as, as public enemy number one. Of all of the Wall Street brokers, there is a reason you only know Bernie Madoff. So what can be done about it? What I suggest is we go to an individual pension scheme that gains interest for index trackers, but managed by the state. You pay in until it's released for you to manage at the age of 65, with advice from the government on how to best manage it and how to pay the tax. What's about to follow is a lot of boring maths, so prepare yourself. The average UK salary is £26,000 a year at the age of 27, increasing to around £40,000 a year at the age of 44. If you invest 5% of your salary from 18 to 44 as your pension contribution, it's about 1300 a year, with an employer match it's 2600 increasing at 44 to about four grand a year with the employee match. If you were to invest this in an index tracker with a 4% return, you would retire with an account valued at £380,422.27, and at 4% interest it would pay £15,216 a year, or about £292.62 a week. Not a massive improvement, but it would mean the reduction in government overheads. This also doesn't take into account any other contributions or marriage. If you personally add a further £2,000 a year, you'd get £646,313, with £25,852, or about £487.16 a week. If we made these ISA accounts, they would be tax exempt. Or if you go back to my prior video, The Broken System, and make the minimum rate of tax £18,000, this income would be tax-free for most people. As much as this might be a morbid subject, the inheritance of the average Brit would be about £760,844.54 from a married couple, and after the 40% tax it would be £456,506.72. Brief side point, inheritance tax is the best tax. It's the state taking my money from my cold, dead hands, and that's all I ever wanted. Now back to the video. Or we could continue ploughing billions into a system many see as broken. But it's really up to you. This has been a politics chalkboard video. If you've enjoyed, consider giving it a like. Maybe even subscribe. But do come back for more.